So what we're going to be going over today is how to simulate this circuit seen here in the Cadence uh, Allegro Design Entry CIS software. So we're given this direction here to plot the output voltage as a function of time for this 7805 uh, linear voltage regulator right here. Uh, kind of an odd setup. They give us a DC voltage of 9 volts and a 60 hertz voltage, and we are told to make that sinusoidal voltage source 5 volts in magnitude, and then our 2 kilo ohm resistor. So I obviously already built all of this out. A few key notes. Uh, once again, if you didn't watch the other video, when creating your file, go to File, New, Project. When selecting your project, select analog or mixed AD and ensure you have no spaces or special characters in your when naming your files to save you a headache later. Now it's hard, difficult finding this part in our library, but I found a little trick for finding parts more easily in the library. You upload your library by clicking on this plus button right up here and you want to have your, um, then that'll show you your library click Add Library, and select the entire PSPICE library, and click Open. Now, we have our library in here, and we want to search parts in there. So we're going to click Filter. And what I've done is this filter, I've allowed us to filter out and only get PSPICE models that we can simulate. And so you select these two boxes here, and any PSPICE model, and click OK. Now. Any part that does not have this um, simulation property from PSPICE will not show up. And that is what you need if you're going to be simulating your parts. So we have no open circuits, no short circuits. We put our probe in from our PSPICE toolbar here. And then we are ready to simulate. I had to Google this op amp to find it. It's under an LM7805. Uh, LM the uh, sinusoidal voltage source was under VSIN and VDC for our DC voltage source. And this is an analog resistor, our R analog. So when we are ready to simulate, simply come up here to click New Simulation Profile. And you'll click it, name it. I have already created that. So when it opens up, you'll get a box similar to this. Click Time Domain Transient is what we want to do for this one, for our Time Domain Sweep. We're going to do 50 milliseconds in 0 0.2 millisecond steps and starting at 0. And then you're going to click OK. And after that's done, you'll click Run. Run PSPICE. You get another window pops up down here. And your readout should look just like this. Now remember we have our DC source hooked up and our AC sor source stacked on top of it. So we get a 9 volt is essentially our new 0 volts and then you get a sinu sinusoidal waveform that goes up 5 volts, down 5 volts in amplitude. Now you'll notice that 9 minus 5 equals 4 and we do not have a voltage of 4 when it drops down here. Now we are using a linear voltage regulator, and if you remember a linear voltage regulator, you have to consider your dropout voltage. This is our data sheet for our uh, voltage regulator. And if we scroll down here, we will see it says our dropout voltage is two volts. So as the voltage approaches our dropout voltage, it's going to be dropping lower than our actual voltage because you're dissipating that energy as heat in your linear voltage regulator. And then as it comes back up, it uh, jumps up above here and you have a little bit of ringing and they uh, promise you a certain, uh, certain maximum and minimum voltages that you're going to get out of your linear voltage regulator and the, they account for ringing like this. So it catches it, drops it back down, too low, comes back up, and you see that on every step. 
So we'll come back to our model. That should be everything you need to know for uh, running this simulation. If you have any questions or comments, just let me know and I will try to answer them or any way that I can improve these tutorials that would help you. Thanks.